Hi, when it comes to AI assisted coding and editing in Swift, you can use a great tool like Kesa. Kesa is very great because you can use it to chat with your Swift files and also generate code and multiple files for your Xcode project. You can also use another tool like WinSev from Codium. Recently, I have been using WinSev and Kesa for experimenting with Swift code. However, if you want an integrated Xcode experience, I encourage you to try Alex. This tool works seamlessly with Xcode. In this video, I'll show you how to get started with this tool and use it for your next Xcode or Swift projects. As you have seen here, you can download it for macOS 14 plus. So using Alex, you can do most of the things you use Kesa or WinSurf for your projects. So just download and launch it. I have already opened an Xcode project. So let's come here and start working with Alex. Once you open your Xcode project, you can start working with Alex with the shortcut Command L. Let's resize the Xcode interface so that we have Alex on the left. After launching Xcode with Alex, you can see here it knows about your code. You have noticed here this is the same file we have here in Xcode. So it knows about the code base in Xcode. From the Alex interface, we can add a new tab by clicking the plus button on the top right. There is also another plus button here for adding a new chart. These are a bit confusing because we have one here, one here, and another one here. But once you hover the mouse on each one of them, we get a two tip. So this adds a new tab and this adds a new chart. Over here, we have our chart history and also settings. With this plus button, you can add a new file and type your prompt to start chatting. Similar to Kesa, it provides support for all these large language models. Alex also supports vision, so you can add any image and start chatting with it. Once you add your prompt, you can click this button to start chatting or chat with your code base. So this is a quick tour about the UI of Alex. Let's look at how we can use this tool to generate a Swift code from an image. I took a screenshot of this image from one of the Apple developer videos. So using this image, we are going to ask Alex to generate this code and the UI. So let's go back to our Xcode project and bring Alex with command L. In your Xcode code base, you can ask Alex to generate Swift code and files and put them in a specific location. For example, let's select the root folder and add this prompt. I will also drag the image I showed you previously and paste it here and click chat. So that is going to generate the code in a moment. So after generating your code, there are a couple of things you can do. You can copy the code and paste it in your project. You can click this button to apply the code and also use the option Fast Apply. This is similar to the Apply feature in Kesa. In the Xcode project, you can see we have selected the root folder. So over here, we can come back to Alex and click the plus button to add the generated file to the Xcode project. So let's click that. You can see that starts to add it to the Swift code immediately. I'm going to click here to expand the window. So you have noticed here, this is the file we just added. We have the generated code and the UI and everything here works perfectly. If I bring back the image we generated the code from, you can see everything is the same. So this is how you can get started with AI assisted coding in Swift using Alex for seamless and integrated Xcode experience.